well in this video I got an RV for sale I got to go replace a air cube and a power supply the PoE because it got wet in the box so I have a feeling somebody tipped it over or something and when it rained it got in the box because it's the first box I've had of this kind ever get wet in there um, and we had storms and rain showers pouring down rain and never had any issue because that's the way the box is designed and not to get wet when it's upright like it's supposed to be I think uh, they may be working around the box because I see some things around it where they like they put some stuff there like they went to the beach or whatnot and they probably hit it and knocked it over or something I don't know but they had to hit it pretty hard because I had it in the ground but that's the way it goes sometimes so I'm going out here and put a new air cube in it put a new PoE and hopefully it didn't short out anything and mess up the CPE and hopefully I can just plug this in I've already got it programmed and hopefully it just all lights up <coughs> and starts to work got the same password the same Wi-Fi name so if they have any like TVs or cell phones tablets computers or anything like that that is looking for Wi-Fi it should just automatically reconnect because it will not know any different that the device has been changed out because the Wi-Fi name and the password is still the same hopefully it's that easy it's uh, 8 30 in the morning on a Saturday and hopefully I can possibly be back at my RV by 9 and have a great rest of my day with nothing else to do at least not networking I might put my server rack together together that I have for my RV take the day and do that but we will see I may uh, go to Lowe's and get a drop core roller where you can actually put a drop cord on it and roll it up on it instead of uh, putting a drop cord on it I'll be putting uh, fiber that I got because the fiber did not come on a roll it just came rolled up with plastic wrapped around it and as soon as you take that plastic off it's like a slinky it just goes everywhere um, so I don't want to do that because it took me two hours me and my son out in the yard fixing it and I'm like that's not going to happen again I'm going to figure out a way to keep that together and roll it off of it and put it on a roller where I can roll it out stuff like that I need to get done so if I want to use fiber I, I can unroll it safely but let's get over there <clears throat> and uh, get this installed and hopefully it will be plug and play situation All right, let's see what we can do here. What can we do? Yeah, they moved the box because I had it on the other pole. That's what it is. I never put it over here. That's what it is because it was on the next door. They moved the box and didn't put it in the ground too well remember now because I wouldn't run a wire way over there and come all the way back and go up so 
they moved the box. power supply to the other and messed it up that's what they did yep that's what they did we got it all wet How people do things like that. I wouldn't have all this extra wire here if I set it here in the first place. I swear. Oh, Lord. I love how people do things. Because that's exactly where I had it. I had it going over there because they had it plugged into the wrong power supply. They had it over there. Not over here. And I asked them to let me know when they go move it. So I can come by and move it. They decided to move it on their own. Oh, we can move it. We don't need him. Yeah. Wait till you get the bill for uh, the new equipment that I had to replace because you move the equipment without. Yep, because I got attached. Got attached right here because I was running on this side. It goes on today. I remember it now. So they moved it. So let's see how they like when they get an invoice for a new uh, equipment that I uh, had to replace because they moved it without authorization. That's nice. Get that asked them to move it. Told them to let me know when they're going to move or want it moved, and I'll come move it. But they decided to do it themselves. Okay. if it actually gonna come back online all right let's, we're logged into them let's see 37 yep all right, let's see she's supposed to be getting 10 
we're a little distance from them. I would say probably close to 100 feet. And I'm getting 12, 13 from here. So we're doing good. All right, now we're going to UISP and actually set the uh, cube to her account. If it didn't do it automatically, it may have since it was already since it's tied to that CPE it may automatically put it in there I don't know let's see let's see if I can go into the AP and look at the stations and see if I can find 37 I don't see 37 in there you know where I see a 38 which that's supposed to be 37 which I need to change that so I see if I can log into it and actually change that to 37 because there is no 38 at least that's where it used to be plugged in at so that has to be 37 now and save that changes Apply, go back to UISP, go to her account, and I should see both of the radios in there. The CPE probably will reboot to change that configuration. So, internet will be lost temporarily. Hopefully it's going to be this easy. Okay, it's coming back. We have 38 and 37. Uh, this one says 38, so I'm going to forget that one out of our account. Should be able to look up Sneeze Ferry 37. Be able to find hers. There she is. And I should be able to see both of them in. And they are working. It says it's got a connection. Negative 49 and negative 61. Good. Oop. Okay. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. All right. Now it's all set up. Let's see what speed. It's supposed to. Be, yep. It's supposed to have ten. Let's uh, get out of there. Let's do a speed test. Supposed to be 10 megs. Yeah, we're doing good. Thirteen, almost thirteen and a half. One up. Getting that one up from here. I know she'll get it in the RV. Okay. She's done. She's good and ready to go. All right. I'm going to be sure I didn't leave no tools behind. Be sure it's all locked up. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes when people move the, your box themselves. You can tell it's been in the water. 
Yep. They try to move their box themselves. It's all right. It's all done now. Got my lock on it. Bless you. done 70 is the one I did right here yesterday 70 is the one I did right here yesterday they supposed to be here Sunday it looks like it's kind of getting overcast it's not just them white clouds it's getting kind of dark about that way and it looks like it's heading this way so it may rain today don't know but good day to get some things done at the RV it's nice that my daughter actually getting a job now in Sneeze Ferry instead of Wilmington so I got a 20 minute drive instead of two hour drive round trip I can drive her to work and back home in a shorter distance than it took her just to get to work one way with time left over So that puts me in Sneeze Ferry every day that she works and I can go to Sneeze Ferry the days that she don't work and get stuff done. Nice. So let me get back to my RV and get this video up, edited and up and get some stuff done. Let's see if I can get that fiber up on the roll make things so much easier but I want to thank all of you for subscribing sharing liking commenting all that good stuff that really helps the channel and it costs you nothing to do it except a little click of a mouse I will see you in the next video wherever and whatever I'm doing I'll see you there